Hi, wondering how you can transition in the post-pandemic world? Well, that's what this video is gonna be about. The 84th episode of Coffee with Jody. Did you know that May is the month of transitioning? It's the month where the rain has happened, the flowers are in bloom, the birds have begun singing, and life is just a little bit more joyful. Well, May is the modern version of the old English word maras, which is ancient Greek for growth. So May is the month of growth. During May, we celebrate Mother's Day, Teacher's Day, Memorial Day, International Workers' Day, Small Business Week, and my favorite sports event, the Kentucky Derby. So many wonderful things to celebrate in the month of May. And isn't it interesting how this month of May is lining up to be the transitioning into a post-pandemic world? Last week, we got the new CDC guidelines for people who've been fully vaccinated. You no longer have to wear a mask out in public. You can be in tight spaces, no longer having to worry about social distancing. Of course, we have to follow the federal, state, local rules and regulations and those that are in businesses and workplaces, but we're now free to re-engage with life as it was before. I don't know about you guys, but I find that I'm still a little bit unsure. Like there's part of me that's super excited about doing things that I used to do, like going out to eat and hugging people. And at the same time, it's kind of like, well, exactly how does this work? Because I've gotten used to social distancing, staying home more, wearing masks when I go outside. So I think there'll be a little bit of a transition for people. And I find that my, I'm included in that group of people, like just exactly how do I want to go about re-engaging with life um, post-pandemic. We got used to Zoom. We got used to cooking a lot. It was one of our big adventures at home was uh, new recipes every uh, almost every day. Now that we can re-engage, how do we want to re-engage? One thing I'm sure about is that people are chomping at the bit to re-engage with life again. I find myself saying, I'm fully vaccinated when I go to hug someone or when I go to a client meeting or even when I'm out walking my dog. And some people are thinking about, I don't know that I want to go back into the way that I was living before the pandemic happened and I had the opportunity to really focus on what matters to me. So some people will be changing careers or retiring or starting businesses of their own. That level of uncertainty has had people come inwardly focused on what matters to them. So as you consider transitioning back into this next stage of economic growth, how do you want to do it? Get clear on what it was that didn't work for you, personally and professionally. Then think about what do you want your days to look like? What are some steps that you would need to take in order to have that be realized? Maybe it's small incremental steps. And then what resistance do you find within yourself and within others so that you can address it and let it go or dissolve it? As we consider what we want our lives to look like going forward, I invite you to really carefully think about this and then capture it. Either capture it by writing it down or creating some kind of a visual display that calls you powerfully into action. This is the opportunity to consider how to go into the second half of this year and into a post-pandemic world by design. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and subscribe. And if you'd like to find out more about how business coaching can help you during this period of economic growth in your business, then please schedule a discovery session by clicking on the calendar link below. That's it for today. Bye for now.